Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate exam of 2015. It's for two marks. They are saying find the minimum frame size in bytes to achieve link utilization of at least 50%. And this data is given in the question. Okay. Link utilization means efficiency. So we want the efficiency to be minimum 50%. Efficiency is greater than or equal to 50%. Efficiency in case of stop and wait is 1 upon 1 plus 2a. They are saying stop and wait protocol is used. So efficiency will be 1 divided by 1 plus 2a. This will be greater than or equal to 0.5 because 50% is same as writing 0.5. Now value of a is tp divided by tt. The propagation delay divided by transmission delay. Okay, propagation delay is given in the question, but we need to determine transmission delay. So TT or the transmission delay is L by B, length of packet or length of frame divided by the bandwidth. Bandwidth is given as 64 kbps, but length of packet is not given. We actually need to determine the length of packet or frame. So let us assume that frame size is L, then L divided by B will be L divided by 64 kbps. Okay. So now we can easily determine the value of 1 upon 1 plus 2a. See, how did I get this formula 1 divided by 1 plus 2a? In case of stop and wait, sender window size is 1. So sender is actually sending only one frame. Whereas in best case, we can send 1 plus 2a frames. Efficiency will be what we are sending and divided by what we can send in the best case. Okay. Anyways, just substitute the values. So it will be 1 upon 1 plus 2 into 20 milliseconds. This is the value of TP which is given in the question. You can just read the question from description of this video and divided by TT. So 1 by TT will be 64 kbps upon L into 64 kbps divided by L and uh, this has to be greater than or equal to 50%. Okay. Now from here you can easily determine the value of L that is the minimum frame size. See. We want frame size in bytes, but here the units are bits. So convert this bits into bytes. We can do so by dividing 64 kbps by 8. Okay. So this will become k bytes per second. Now value of k will be 10 raised to the power 3. Just substitute it. Whenever its bandwidth value of k has to be 10 raised to the power something. And whenever it's data or amount of memory, the value of k will be 2 raised to the power something. Okay, 2 raised to the power 10 to be exact. So it is 64 into 10 raised to the power 3. Okay, so I'm writing it here. Now, if you try to convert this millisecond into seconds, then value of m will be 10 raised to the power minus 3. So m and this 10 raised to the power 3 will be cancelled. Okay. Second and per second will also get cancelled. So you are left with 20 multiplied by 64 bytes divided by 8L. You can easily solve this. So 8, 8 is 64. So next step will be, let us multiply this denominator by 0.5. That means 1 is greater than or equal to 0.5 plus 20 into 2 is 40, 40 into 8 is 320. 320 divided by L into 0.5. Okay. So this 0.5 will become negative 0 0.5 when it's brought to this side. That means 1 minus 0 0.5, which is equal to 0 0.5 only. 
सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी दिस ओके पॉइंट फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू थ्री ट्वेंटी बाई एल दैट मीन्स एल विल बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू थ्री ट्वेंटी बाय पॉइंट फाइव एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव सो एल इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू थ्री ट्वेंटी एंड द यूनिट इज बाइट्स सी इट इज बाइट्स सो हेयर ऑल्सो इट विल बी बाइट्स एंड हेयर ऑल्सो इट विल बी बाइट्स एल इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू थ्री ट्वेंटी बाइट्स 